Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, I will be doing half of a party prep for Aubrey's third birthday party. She's been loving cars, loving construction cars and ambulances, and so I thought that this theme would be really fitting for her. It was super easy to make everything like work well together, so I'm excited to show you guys my decorations and DIYs in this video. I will also be sharing half of an Amazon gift card code for you guys because you are such awesome subscribers and viewers, and you will be able to catch the other half of the Amazon code in our second party prep video where I will be taking care of all things food. So keep watching. So first things first, let's talk about the pinata. I was inspired by something I saw on Amazon, but I didn't want to pay the like $15 to $20 plus, you know, whatever else it costs to get that to our house. And I just wanted to save some money. I knew we had boxes lying around and construction paper. And so I just kind of figured, hey, why not make this myself? A uh, dump truck isn't too many weird shapes and designs that I needed to worry about. So I figured I was you know, able to take care of this myself and just save us a little bit of extra cash. Little did I know, this did take me some time. <laughs> um, luckily, I was able to get most of it done during like one of Aubrey's naps. And just getting the basic frame of this box kind of car thing took somewhere between 40 to 60 minutes. And then on top of that, I had to, you know, make it look a little bit better than just a box and cover it with construction paper. Obviously, depending on your theme, making your own may not be as easy or worth the extra effort, and you might just wanna spend the $20 for a pinata, but I had the time and the supplies, and I figured, why not? So after filling up the pinata with the candy, I asked Juan to figure out how we're going to hang this thing, and we ended up having to dump all the candy out, and Juan made like a three-knot string contraption and with like plastic knives in there for extra support, and he was able to hang this very well. I wasn't able to catch him on film doing it, but I thought, you know, even if we needed to string, you know, something through the sides of the car so that it would hold up nicely with kids whacking at it. Um, we could have done that as well, but Juan took care of that and I was really grateful for him for doing that. 
Moving on to the gift bags, I purchased these from Dollar Tree and these were super simple and easy to customize for this car themed party. I just drew with a Sharpie some lines down the front and made it look like little roads and that was it. I probably could have come up with something more creative, but hey, this was an easy DIY for me to do. Then I filled them with some car tattoos as well as some like tractor stickers. These I got off Amazon in like huge bulk. I didn't use anywhere close to the total number that I had actually purchased. So Aubrey will have plenty of tattoos and stickers to play with from here on out. But um, in addition to these guys, I also filled these little goodie bags with some Lego sets from the Dollar Tree. And these, you can definitely see what you're getting on the box. I really liked these and I wanted just there to be variety because siblings were going to be getting these toys and I didn't want them to have like five of the same car. So I got a variety and everyone got one of those little packs. There was another brand of Legos that had mystery cars inside to encourage you to buy more and collect them all if you want to make it more uniform. For this party, I also purchased like a big pack of Amazon decorations. In the pack came caution tape, which was actually tape. It was sticky on the whole backside, along with some banners, balloons, dangling decorations, a cake topper, and other signs. Everything had to be assembled. The banners had to be strung, the cake topper had to be glued to its stick, and so on. Even the little dangling streamers had to be kind of ripped apart at the perforation. But aside from that minor inconvenience, I really liked this pack of decorations, and it's still in pretty good condition, so I may just save it if Jack ever has a birthday party with the same theme. So I wanted to have like a cute little way to incorporate the food into the theme of the party so I purchased these mini chalkboard signs from the Dollar Tree and what I wanted to put on them was like too intricate for the sign it was a little too small and too many letters that I would have had to write with a piece of chalk so instead I used my Cricut to cut out the phrases on removable vinyl so that I could reuse the signs again in the future if I wanted to. To get these signs to stand up on or near plates of food where I couldn't just stab them into the actual food, I used these little caramels and it worked out perfectly. If the caramels didn't go onto the plate and had to sit on the table, I just kind of left them in their plastic and let them stand up like that. I made some additional signs using a yellow sheet of Dollar Tree poster paper and my Cricut. What would have been easier would be to print out the designs for like some of the smaller signs that I made, but I used this as an opportunity to try a new transferring technique using parchment paper. And I'm really glad I tried this because it worked out really well and I can definitely see using this method again in the future. Every time you hold 
After I packed away my Cricut, I remembered I needed to make one more sign, and since it was already pretty large, I decided I would just draw it by hand even though it wasn't as clean cut as some of my other signs. But I think it turned out fine and it was, you know, a relaxing a little experience to do something by hand. You hurt me a dick several times. It hurts to admit that we're no different I find it hard to commit But you don't even try Still I'm better with and without you Oh And then finally, I used one of Aubrey's dump trucks after cleaning it to add a little bit of extra spice to the chip bowl. I just used a little piece of foil to help the chips continuously flow out of the back of the truck. And it that like little decoration really took it up a notch and really added to the theme of the party. So next up, we are creating some little street lines using this leftover yellow poster board paper and some black table covers from the Dollar Tree to create a vehicle street themed table cover for all of the tables outside. I used double sided tape to secure these lines to the plastic table cover and I really love how it looks. It's so easy and yet it adds so much to the party. So in addition to the balloons that came in the Amazon pack, I did have to pick up a few extra packs of balloons from the Dollar Tree for our balloon arch. Typically, they don't carry orange balloons, but since Halloween is just around the corner, I was able to snag some, so it worked out perfectly. Juan helped me tie the balloons as I was blowing them up, which really helped cut the time in half. And I used the same balloon arch that I did for our gender reveal, which I really prefer over the plastic strips that come in packs of balloons. I wanted to add a little bit more to the balloon arch, so I picked up a little th number three balloon from the Dollar Tree to add to this balloon arch as well as the large dump truck balloon that came in my Amazon pack that I mentioned earlier. They were a little hard to secure to the balloon arch using the little like balloon glue dots. So I actually had to use some of that caution tape to secure these guys to the arch and that worked out very nicely. On the table with the balloon arch, I figured I would display the goodie bags, the pinata up until the point where we needed to use it and leave some space for any gifts that Aubrey was going to receive. Okay, next up is, again, something super simple but really added to the party. It is chalk paint street lines. So since we were going to have an outdoor party, I thought I would decorate our walkways to look like little streets for the kids. I made some yellow chalk paint using the recipe that I've shared in a previous video, which is just cornstarch water and some food coloring, and painted lines on all of the sidewalks in our backyard. And like I said, I really like this addition because it is simple, it is cheap, and it really adds to the theme of the party without much extra work.
So next up, I got these punching balloons from the Dollar Tree, and I figured I would hang them across our yard to resemble wrecking balls. I made sure to hang the balloons low enough for the little ones to reach, but not low enough where they could like get the string around their necks. I didn't want to have to deal with that. And I wasn't sure exactly how this decoration or activity would go over, but all of the kids really liked these, even the older kids, which kind of surprised me. They were playing kind of like a volleyball game with it. And overall, I'm really happy that I added this, if not just for the decoration, but for the actual usage of it from the little kiddos in our family. Another little activity that was a hit with the little kids was this car wash station. The kids were equipped with chalk to color the vehicles and then water and a sponge to wipe it off. And the last little prepared activity was this coloring station. Dollar Tree sold this very large coloring book with many sheets and even one sheet of stickers. And I can definitely see setting up something similar in the future because it kept the kiddos contained and concentrated for a good period of time. And just like for her second birthday, I wanted to create Aubrey a shirt that went with the theme of the party, but not directly related to her birthday. So I searched for an excavator in Cricut Design Space, chose the only free option and modified it to say, I dig this shirt, then ironed on the design on a plain shirt that I had on hand and we were good to go. And I think she looked super cute on her birthday. So like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I am going to be providing you guys right here with half of an Amazon gift card code. Obviously, you don't have the second half and you'll have to wait till Friday's video to figure that out and it will be first come first serve. So I won't know after this video airs who's going to win until our video on Friday, but if you are the first person to go ahead and claim that second part of our code and therefore grab this Amazon gift card for yourself, I'd like to say congratulations. And for everyone else who maybe was just a little too late to the party, uh, there will be more opportunities in the future. I kind of do random giveaways like this anyways. So make sure you are tuning in on Mondays and Fridays when I post so that you don't miss out on anything. Then I just had to finish setting up the food display in the kitchen. I will be covering all the food for this party in my next video, so stay tuned. But to add a little bit more decoration to the table, I placed some toy cars in the empty space, along with some confetti that was left over from our gender reveal. Let me know in the comments which decoration was your favorite, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you are new. I'd love to have you stick around. Have an amazing day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Woohoo! You've made it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.